short disclaimer. Elena sleeping next to me. If y'all hear it snoring, that's probably her. <laughs> welcome back to my channel today I have a mom video planned I thought this would be a helpful video because this is what I, I think like the first thing I researched uh, before going to the hospital was <laughs> what to take in my diaper bag and my hospital bag um, that'll probably be a different video today I want to do diaper bag just because it's something I use I mean before quarantine but make sure I had ready the night before I went out or right before I went out, make sure I had everything in my diaper bag because that's technically my purse now. First, I want to say, show you my diaper bag. I went for a more, I guess, chic version of diaper bags. Uh, it's faux leather. I, I love this diaper bag. I saw a more high-end version of it and I, I loved it, but it was just not in my price range. I just came across this actually on Amazon. They have their own website. It's from um, a company called Miss Fong. In my opinion, she designed it with a little bit more extra stuff and um, accessories that become included with the price instead of having to buy things separate, like the higher end version of it. It was, I believe, $40, $40-$50, which is like two times cheaper than the, the higher end diaper bag yeah i wanted something that would match i guess my outfits more i wanted something that looked nice and not something just like literally a backpack that would kind of ruin my outfit so i wanted something that would match i really like the gray i really like the leather that it's washable i love it because i wanted a backpack diaper bag i really want something a little bit more practical so i thought the backpack diaper bag was like the best way to go also this one comes with a normal strap so you can you know you can carry it like this you can make it longer of course and it also comes with stroller straps that I'll show once I open everything up I bought this before I had Elena and I just I would buy another one of these again for my other kid because I know this one's starting to become a little bit more worn down just because literally I use it I used to use it like every day so I'm gonna go through all of the pockets everything I have in in here for Elena now that she's 10 months, going on 11 months. So like I said, it has the handle to grab it, easy access, the straps, which are actually detachable. So you can like unhook it and store the straps just so you can use them like this with a little handle, which is pretty cool. And also there's a zipper on the bottom. For example, if you travel a lot, this is really convenient because you can literally like hook it onto like the little handles of your suitcase instead of having to like carry it yourself and whatever so you could just roll it in pretty easy well like i said i don't normally use it as a backpack because it's, it's a lot easier but i do carry clorox wipes because well right now i'm running low i use it to wipe down if i'm going to change her i wipe down a little changing area and then i have a, a changing mat but yeah to wipe down anything um carts, shopping carts, anywhere where I'm going to put Elena in a high chair at a restaurant. Now in front, here I don't really carry a lot of stuff. I've had a couple wardrobe malfunctions at church, so I carry um, a lot of safety pins, different size safety pins, and bobby pins too. And this one, I do carry like my lipsticks because literally, like I carry them just in case. This is my purse after all now. But yeah, chapstick. I must always have a chapstick with me. I also carry gum, but yeah, lip liner, a mirror. Oh, hair ties for me, of course. Now on the sides, it does have two pockets. On your side, it has a pocket and a little zipper. I don't carry anything in the zipper. I used to, but um, since the bottle's in the way, I'd rather not. I carry two bottles full of water, but she drinks a lot of water. She really loves water. So I always make sure I carry two two bottles full of water for her she does carry her own little water cup but yeah her water cup always with her in her car seat right when you open it it's literally all nylon so it's washable you can literally submerge it in water um, but first off i have a changing pad or a changing mat so this one came with the diaper bag and i like it because it matches and it's easily you know you can easily wipe off anything next i have 
a little changing bag. A little more easier than having to carry like individual diaper and wipes in your hand along with the changing mat and a baby. So I literally just grab it because it has a little handle. But I do carry um, wipes, I carry diapers, and I carry diaper rash cream. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys like that, like the inside it has a lot of storage in here. So it has an extra pouch on the back, which I use for clothes and other things. It has this little zipper pouch where I have stroller straps. These also came with the bag. These are really cute. You clip them onto this little, these little hoops that are on the sides. Clip them onto um, like a shopping cart. Here is an extra like little net pouch where I keep more diapers. I keep in this back pouch buggy wipes always great to have especially in the winter i carry like two extra pairs of clothes a bib extra pair of socks in that back pouch i carry tylenol the little syringe that goes with it and a thermometer so i always have these just in case if you're like out and you can't you're not that close to home or you're not that close to a store it's always great to have just in case your little one's running a fever you feel like you know they're in pain or something teething really essential to having your diaper bag and it also comes with two insulated pockets inside. I don't carry bottles in there because I don't, she is formula fed now. So I don't keep warm, you know, breast milk bottles or anything in there. So in those pockets for now, for storage, I keep another like little lip balm for myself. Uh, I carry ibuprofen for myself, of course, just in case. And I keep these little bulb syringes. I used to use this a lot when she was little. Not too much anymore, but you never know. So I just keep it in there. Um, in this other pocket, I keep lotion for myself and a little teething gel. She's currently teething now. She got four new teeth now that we were in quarantine. Um, I think she just likes it because it tastes good, not because it actually works. Now here, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little zipper, a little zipper bag, but there I keep some feminine products for myself. So I have two another little net um, pockets here. So in one of them, I don't keep anything. I think I had snacks in there, but they're all gone. And I keep a little baby food jar just in case. And in the middle, I keep, I normally have like two bottles in here, but I have one full of water filled up to the amount that she drinks. And I also have this little compartment with formula, so with enough ounces for her bottles. Yeah, that's pretty much all I keep in here. I find that this is like the most essential things that I normally carry for her. And I've been carrying for her since she was a newborn practically. The only thing that's changed is probably the amount of clothes I carry and probably the formula. I always carry my wallet in here, of course. My wallet, my personal things. Like I said, I keep all my lipsticks, chapsticks in here. I just, I really like it. It's really convenient. This came with everything that I needed. Um, especially this, because I really don't like putting it on. I just straight on a changing pad, even if I do wipe it down. The stroller straps, this extra strap, the fact that you can hide the, the backpack straps. And I just wanted something cute too. Let me know if you liked the video and I'll try to make a mom series on this. Um, I know that's what I wanted to talk about in my videos, but if you guys like a mom series or a baby series, soon I'll make a little 11 month update with Elena now that she's heading up to her first year. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I want to make sure that you know you're not overwhelmed with stuff because I know I used to carry more than I needed to, especially as a newborn and now as a 10 month old. I try to limit the stuff that I carry in here. All essentials nothing else so let me know if you like the video thank you for watching um, I'll see you guys in the next video bye